As a wholesaler, you know how important it is to build a list of investors known as cash buyers in your market. The bigger your cash buyer list, the faster and easier it is to wholesale your deals. But what if you don't have a big cash buyer list? Worse yet, what if you have a contract with a seller on a wholesale deal and you don't have a single cash buyer for your deal? Now what? Whether you have a huge list or no list at all, on today's video, I'm gonna show you my number one method for how to find a cash buyer for your wholesale deal, coming up. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Quick Start Kit with everything you need to flip your first house in 30 days or less. Download it now at myquickstartkit.com. If you're new here to this channel, I'm Jerry Norton with Flipping Mastery TV, and this channel is all about ways to help you make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. Now, before we go any further on this video, let me dispel the most widespread misinformation about wholesaling real estate, and that is you should first build a cash buyer list and then find a deal. Now, I couldn't disagree more. Now, if you think you need a buyer first, then you really need to watch the motion picture movie, Field of Dreams with Kevin Costner. If you build it, they will come. And that's not just for baseball. When wholesaling, if you find a deal, a cash buyer will come. I've never once had a good deal where I couldn't find a buyer for it. Think about it this way. Generally speaking, it's harder to find a good deal than it is to find a buyer for that deal. For that reason, when wholesaling, I believe you put your focus on finding a good deal first and then build your cash buyer list as you go, which is the premise of this video. So let's say that you found a distressed property from a motivated seller and the seller agreed to sell it to you at your desired wholesale price and then you execute a purchase and sale agreement and now it's time to find a cash buyer to wholesale the deal to. And let's assume that your deal is in a decent neighborhood where your ideal cash buyer is a fix and flipper. If it's not and you're wholesaling in a low income area, then I have a completely different strategy for finding a buy and hold cash buyer investor instead of a fix and flipper. I'll put a link to that video in the description box below for you. But if your deal is in a retail neighborhood, then your ideal buyer is a local active fix and flipper. Now using real examples, let me not only show you how to find a fix and flip investor, but even better, how to reverse engineer their recent fix and flip deals so you know what they paid for their recent deals and exactly what they did to their properties. This information is extremely valuable because now you know what they'll pay for your deal. Now I'll show you in a minute, but what I love about this hack strategy is it's free. And be sure to stay to the end of this video because I'm gonna share additional tools and resources to help you find cash buyers and build your cash buyer list. Now we're gonna to move to the computer and I want you to follow along with me and then watch this again so that you can go back and do this in your market. Now most fix and flippers list their properties on market using real estate agents, which means if we go on Zillow, Trulia, Redfin, or Realtor.com, then we can find these fix and flip properties. Now, being able to identify fix and flip properties is usually pretty easy. Let me show you. Go to Zillow.com and type in your market. For this example, let's use Kansas City, Missouri, and let's put in some filters. For now, let's just look at active homes for sale. So go here and change the filter to just for sale. So you can see here on the left is a map with pins and then on the right is a list of all of the homes currently for sale. Next, let's put a price filter in and go with a minimum of 200,000 and a maximum of 600,000. And for home types, let's just look at houses. So uncheck all these other types of properties. And then under the more filter, let's put a max year built of 2018 so that we exclude new construction homes. Okay, now let's sort our list from highest price to lowest. Now after that, let's look for fix and flip homes. Now there are three things to look for. One, it's newly renovated. Two, it's vacant. And three, which is optional, is that it's staged. Now oftentimes flippers will rent furniture to help it show and sell faster. Now I can tell instantly that a property is newly renovated, vacant, and staged just by looking at a few pictures. So for example, while scrolling through and looking at comps, I came across this property on Wyandotte Street, and it's currently for sale for 414,900, and instantly I can tell that this is a fix and flip. For one, it says right here in the description, completely remodeled historic masterpiece. But aside from that, take a look at the pictures. 
It's totally updated, vacant, and staged. Now here's where it gets fun. Let's scroll down to the price history. Check this out. It sold for 220,000 on July 2nd, 2019, and then less than four months later was back up for sale again on November 23rd for 425,000. Now this is without a doubt a fix and flipper. At this point, I have two options to contact this cash buyer. I could reach out to the listing agent who is representing this fix and flipper. And you can see right here, it says that this property is listed for sale by Johnny Yosef. And there's his phone number. And I have an entire video where I actually get on the phone and call agents who represent cash buyers so you can see what I say to them. Now I'll put a link to that video in the description below and you can watch it later. Now the other method is really cool. If you're a member of my Flipster deal management system, you can use the state of the art tools such as skip tracing, direct mail, email marketing, ringless voicemail, and text blasting to contact and connect with this flipper and add him to your cash buyer database, which is also a tool in Flipster. Now, if you've never heard of Flipster, it's an all-inclusive wholesaling and house flipping deal management system for running your entire business from A to Z, including cash buyer tools. It even has a cash buyer lookup tool that finds cash buyers for you. To learn more and see it in action, just go to getflipster.com. Okay, let me give you one more example so that you can really see this in action. Now, this is a deal I'm working on with one of my mentor and partner students who has a pending contract on a luxury fix and flip deal. And while looking at sold comps in the neighborhood, I came across this property that recently sold for $1.8 million. After looking at a few pictures, I instantly knew it was a flip. How? Because it's completely renovated and vacant and staged. Now this home was originally built in 1956, but it looks like new construction. And check this out, in the price history, this home sold on May 31st, 2018 for 800,000, and then approximately 16 months later, it was listed for sale again for 1,965,000, and then less than two months on the market, it sold for 1,860,000, which is over a million dollars more than what they bought it for 16 months earlier. Now, obviously they spent some serious money renovating this property, but the point is, I just found a high-end fix and flipper that I can contact through the agent or using the tools in Flipster. I can reach out directly to this cash buyer for my deal I'm working on and add him to my cash buyer list. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button right now. And if you plan on using this fast and free hack strategy to find a cash buyer for your next deal or to build your cash buyer list, leave a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel with over 450 videos and new videos released every single week. This is the fastest growing channel on YouTube for all things wholesaling and flipping. Next, watch this next video right here where I'm gonna show you the seven steps to go from a contract with a seller to closing with a cash buyer. So watch that video now and I'll see you on the next video.